just like you like to drink Starbucks coffee every morning. That's kind of your ritual. You just go out and you buy coffee in the morning. Otherwise, you can't open your eyes. Same thing. Make tax planning your lifestyle. A lot of folks are asking me about tax planning, and some of you goes, "Hey, tax planning! I have a new company. I don't need it. Really? You don't need it? I think you do. Let me tell you a couple of reasons why you do. When you set up a new company, you probably march into your attorney's office. What you did is to tell your attorney that, 'Hey, I need a new office. I need a new business, and give me, um, you know, uh, tell me what kind of business.'" Uh, entity I should be in, then your attorney, out of a good heart, will say that let's do a LLC because that's cheaper, easier, and it, there you go. And did you ask about? Hey, I'm in this kind of business. I should probably consider about the accounting method, whether I should be on cash basis accounting or accrual basis accounting, and should I be having a regular Calendar year business, or I should have a fiscal year business, right? And or maybe you say, well, one of my partner it just really don't care about making money. If I lose money, he likes. If I make money, I like. So we got a deal here. So all of these different thoughts you have related to your new company, it is actually a planning. It is a tax planning. So I'm here to answer what type of Elements you need for your particular new company. So we say that yes, new company need tax planning. You want your accounting method to be a cruel method if you are in retailing, and why? Because when you order your merchandise, you have a net thirty days. You haven't even paid yet, but you want to deduct it. Yes, you need to be on a cruel, and then you want to be in cash method if you're running a clinic. Why? Because you submit the charges to the insurance company, you don't even know how much they pay you back, and you want to account that as your income when you receive it. There you go. You want that to be cash method. You want to be in physical year instead of calendar year if you're running seasonal business. For example, if you're selling Christmas items, novelty, and in Christmas time is the biggest sale, right? And you haven't really paid your merchandise, but you sold a whole bunch. And now what? Next day you're gonna pay taxes? Of course, December thirty first, you close the book and you pay taxes, right? So that's not a good idea to have your year end in December. So maybe a thinking of ending that year in June is a good idea. So there you go, some variety of thinkings that you want to have on your accounting method and. A, Ownership structure is a big deal, and if you have a partner and you can have them to be a LLC members, there you get a lot of flexibility in terms of profit and loss, how you share it, and equity, how you share it. So all of these is planning. So folks, you want to know what exactly you want. You need to sit in that chair with your attorney or with your CPA, like us, for a while. Before you decide what to do on your new entity, right? And you may say that, ah,、oh, I have a new company. I'm not making any money. I don't need tax planning. Do you know that business loss is actually equals to bank deposit? Yes, you are right. I said that business loss equals to bank deposit because when you have a loss. And you can recoup that losses at some point of time, maybe right away, maybe later. So that means if you lose hundred thousand dollars in the year, next year you made hundred thousand dollars. That can be offsetting each other, so you don't pay taxes. See, so business loss is never a real loss. Is your bargain chip with the IR with a、uh, IRS with other、uh, with other. Tax liabilities and every loss is valuable. Do not get lost of your losses. Right, keep them and manage your cash flow and using your tax dollars. Sure, you can pay IRS dollars. You can pay taxes, pay tips. You know, make IRS happy. 
but that is not the best way to manage your cash flow. And you can manage it properly by planning your taxes, even though you have a new company. And start your new company with growth in mind. This is what I am saying because you're always thinking that oh, you know, I got a new company. I'm not growing that much, and I'm going to be okay. I don't need planning. No, you do not know. We have. I will tell you that out of the ten thousand companies we have under our firm's care, their new company came up, and next year goes on the millions. So you really do not know what kind of lottery you are drawing. So prepare for the game. That means set up your company right. Plan all of these things together. New company, yes, tax planning, and make tax planning your lifestyle. Just like you like to drink Starbucks coffee every morning, that's kind of your ritual. You just go out and you buy coffee in the morning. Otherwise, you can't open your eyes. Same thing. You do your tax planning just like your lifestyle. You do it every year. You do it all the time, and to make that part of your life, part of your business life. You will be successful. And I wish you success in your new business endeavor.